Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, Harvey Proctor, former Tory MP, has had a traumatic 18 months. He was investigated in Operation Midland, never charged or arrested, but investigated for murder, torture and historic sexual abuse of young boys, all on the basis of the testimony of one man known as Nick. Well, Operation Midland has closed. Mr Proctor has no case to answer. And he's written a book of his life and his recent experience. Uh, and he joins me now. Good evening to you. Good evening. You have deftly placed a copy of the book on the table. Um, we spoke about this case in August, before you were told there was to be no charge. At the time, you'd called it a homosexual witch hunt. I just wonder, now it's all passed, do you still see it that way? The following day, uh, somebody contacted my solicitors and reinforced what I had said on your programme. Uh, it is in the book, I won't go into details tonight, but yes, I do think that um, certain elements of the Metropolitan Police are homophobic. And, I mean, obviously there have been other people who've been through the mill that you've been through, who are not gay and have not... No one's ever suggested they are, and I just wonder whether a better or a different way of looking at it is just that the police used not to take these things seriously enough. They've now thought, oh my goodness, we have to take these things much more seriously and have perhaps darted off in the other direction. The pendulum has swung yeah. because of the nature of those who were involved in the investigation. Again, I cover that in the book. Right. I'm obviously getting people yeah, yeah, to you buy, want to buy the, the book. book. I know, but, but, but what do you mean? I mean, it, the, the pendulum has swung. You think it's swung way too far. Uh, I think quite a number of people think it's yeah. swung too far. I believe that the best interests of the genuine um, victim and survivor of child sexual abuse is to restore it to a better balance between suspect and uh, complainant. So you don't disagree when the police say we have to follow up allegations that are put of to us? Of course the uh, police right. have to investigate. It is the manner of the investigation, the calling of the witness credible and true before they had even got any corroboration, any other evidence whatsoever and before they had spoken to me or the other people who were alive. You have put a lot of attention on the police. Just tell me about your reaction to, if you like, the rest of society, the media, the way these things are covered, the public, their view of these issues. Do you have a, the politicians, the, 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 the politicians who, you know, have stood and watched people like you there in the dock I, for, for over a year? I just wonder whether you think it's a, a bigger thing than just the police. Uh, the police are the driving force in this. But certain politicians have put pressure on certain ministers, namely the Home Secretary, uh, to s establish, for example, uh, an in a so-called independent uh, inquiry into child sexual abuse. And this inquiry is one of two inquiries that the Metropolitan Police have suggested should investigate their own misdeeds, mm. quite and, wrongly. And you, uh, the Goddard inquiry, which is the big overarching one into all yes. the allegations, collating yes. them all, you, you, you said you don't want to be part of that. It's become an industry. And it is not the right formula for investigating Operation Midland. It's set, it was set up to do something different, not to investigate the police's uh, ways of getting it wrong right. this last so 18 months. So you would months. separate those things out? I would yeah. separate yeah. those things. I do believe that uh, the Lady Goddard's inquiry has become an industry and an ongoing inquiry supposed to end in five or six years time it will never end it will go on I mean I'm really interested in this because I, I mean often when you talk to older people they will have tales of a teacher or a neighbor or somebody who did to them when they were young the things that we would now call sexual assault Right, I mean, a fondle, a grope. I'm not talking about murder or torture or, 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 or rape, but, 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 but lots of people have those stories. What is society, do you think, 
meant to do, if you like, with that history, that backlog of cases, having changed our views so markedly towards that now and taking, a mu taking it much more seriously? I think it's a question now of priorities. And I think the Metropolitan Police and other police forces have got their priorities wrong. I think they should concentrate on current abuse, not historic abuse. And where historic abuse is investigated, they have to have probably even more corroboration than in present cases. Tell me how you are now. Obviously, you've been deeply traumatised by the last year. You said it had ruined your life. You said it, you'd lost your, your job, your, your home. Just tell me what your material circumstances are now. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm hoping that something may come of this. I'm not a wealthy man. I need to work. You need the money. I need the money. And all my planning was based on continuing to work, at least for another five or six years. All that has gone by the by. So I need something to happen. Uh, I've got no plans. The plan was to write the book. I've written the book since I last saw you in six months. Mm. And just last one, you were always known as a very right-wing member of the Conservative Party. Just right. Just right. <laughs> right. Have you become more socially liberal over the years? Part of this or partly it through is the for changes others, to... It is for others to judge. I always believe that I was dead centre of my political spectrum. Others fell to the left or right of me. And on some issues you might be regarded to be right-wing, on others But have you wing. moved to the left in, in, as you've grown older? I mean, you see the way gay men now are so much, have a, such a better time than you did when you were in the 80s, 70s and 80s. Yes, I'm pleased about that for them. And not for you? Uh, I've been too preoccupied with my own difficulties this last 18 months. I think I have every right to have been preoccupied. Mm. I've had to take on the Metropolitan Police Force for what they've been doing to me and others. Uh, and uh, it has been a hard fight and a hard struggle. Harvey Proctor, thank you very much. Thank you very thank much you. indeed. Thank you. I've been getting away with it.